Hi, I'm Craig Pickett. I'm the manager of technical education here at the Whitmix Corporation. And we want to talk to you about programming the VPM2 vacuum mixer. We're going to start by talking about what you see on the screen as you first open this programming option up by pressing the menu button at the top right of your panel. It gives you four options here. Select run program, add and delete a program, modify a program, or set up options. We're going to go individually through each of those four options. All right, if we start with the first option at the top of the screen, select or run a program, and you press enter. The first thing that comes up is an investment program for 45 seconds. This is if you have an investment that requires a 45 second mix. If we use the up down arrow keys, we'll be able to go through and take a look at the other programs that are there. Uh, the next one is an investment program of 60 seconds, and then you have an investment program of 90 seconds, and then you have Formula One, which takes about 120 seconds uh, to mix. And then, of course, you can continue on with the other uh, programs that you've programmed in. Once you find the program you're after, then you can select that particular program by simply pushing the Enter button. When the VPM2 comes to you from the factory, there will be five pre-programmed programs for you to select from if you'd like them. The first one is gypsum, and then using the up or down arrows, you can step to the next program. There's also an investment for 45 seconds, investment for 60 seconds, investment for 90 seconds, and the Formula One program, if you're using that particular investment from us, for 120 seconds. Okay, now from your main menu, your next option by using the down arrow is to add or delete a program. When you select add or delete, it will give you the option to, to do exactly that. Add a program or delete a program. To add a program, simply select enter and a program will come up. The cursor on the left side of your screen will ask you which program number you would like to add you can simply use the up or down arrows and move through the individual programs and go to an empty one if you'd like. Here in this case, we're on program 12. If that's what you'd like to program, select enter the bottom right hand corner. And now you're going to name this program. It will instruct you how to do that. If you use the down arrow, it will give you a backspace. If you use the enter key, it will select. So right now, we can use the rest of the pad. If we, if we choose to call this particular program A, we simply press the ABC button, like on a telephone. Uh, if you want to use B instead of A, we would press that a second time. C, we would press it a third time. And uh, hit enter and step over for the next letter in your particular name. Okay. When you're done, all the way stepping through, you'll hit enter and that will select that program and lock the name in for you. All right, now the next step in that particular program after you've named it is the premix option. You can use premix or you can not use premix. It just simply means that the rotation of the paddle is going to go in two different directions. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you just tell the machine no. If you do want to do it, you tell it yes by hitting the enter key. Okay. It will also ask you if you'd like to use the default premix, which is set up here at Whitmix. If that's what you'd like to do, you simply hit the enter key. Now it's going to ask you if you would like also to do a pre-vacuum, meaning that it will pull vacuum for a certain amount of time period before it begins to mix. You can tell it yes or you can tell it no. If you select yes by using the up arrow or down arrow depending upon where you are and then hit 
enter, it will ask you to name the number of seconds that you would like the pre-vacuum to take place from zero to 30. So in this case, we can put in uh, five seconds if you'd like and press enter. Okay, the next thing that you're going to enter into your program is the speed. You can enter anywhere from 100 to 500 RPM. Most of your uh, materials today, that's gypsum products and investments, are designed to be mixed at 450 RPM. Uh, and so you can change that if you'd like, just depending upon the recommendations for your material from your manufacturer. Once you put in the correct number, you press enter. Your next function from the menu is mix time. Now you have the option of one to 255 seconds of mix time in this machine. Most gypsums are going to mix somewhere around 30 seconds. Uh, most investments are going to mix somewhere between 30 and 30 seconds and 120 seconds. So you can take that option depending upon what your manufacturer tells you is the best for your particular product and you can punch it in. So if we want 30 seconds, we just press three and zero and we're good to go and press enter and it will take us to the next step, which is post vacuum. That means after the mixing is complete, the vacuum will continue to hold for a certain amount of time until uh, the, the beeper goes off to let you know that that's taken place. Uh, if you press yes, it will ask you once again how much time, okay? If you don't want to have a post vacuum, you simply use the down arrow to tell it no and press enter, okay? And you're programmed for that new program. Now the next thing from your main menu will be to modify a program. So using the down arrow, we're going to take the cursor down to where it says modify program. Press enter. We'll come back to our same program that we created, program C, and tell it that that is the program that I want. And then it will give us the options to change the mix time, the mix speed, or there are other things that we can change by going to change other and pressing enter, we get the rest of the profile of that particular program. Premix, pre-vacuum, post-vacuum, or the program's name. Uh, in either case, we can use the up or down arrows to get to what we want to change. Once the cursor is in that position, in this case the program name, we press enter, and we can change the program to program G if we want, and select step over until you're done, okay? And you change that part of the program. All right, your last option from the main menu is the what we call the setup options. If you select setup options by using the down arrow and then pressing enter, you'll have two things that you may change. You can change the language that the readout is in, or you can change the tone which the uh, volume signal tells you um, when this machine is ready and uh, completed with its uh, programming. So let's just take a look at the uh, language that's available. You can select English, uh, French, Spanish, Espanol, or German, or Italian. Okay. You have those options depending upon where you are in the world or just what language you like to speak. All right, your second option in setup options is to change the tone. To get there, use your down arrow until the cursor sits on change tone, press enter, and then you can select what tone you'd like to hear uh, from this machine based on using your up arrows. As you select through up or down arrows, actually, it will sound off that particular tone. And you can select which one you're more likely to hear while you're in the process of working. All right, 
Uh, that's the tone we're going to use. We're back to enter uh, and it takes, that, it takes us back to the main menu. Now we're ready to run a program uh, just by simply telling it, yep, we want to run a program. Choose whichever program that is. You're going to place your bowl and press start and you've programmed your machine. <laughs>